What's up everybody, welcome to the next episode in our Skyrim series. In the previous episode, we were working through the Bleak Falls Barrow mission. Uh, we retrieved the Dragonstone uh, from the... I can't remember what type of, like, white he was, but we, we retrieved it from him nonetheless. Um, in this episode, we'll, we might deliver this. Uh, we're basically going to head towards uh, Farangar uh, and then kind of go from there see what we find along the way uh so without further ado let's give some sound and uh yeah we're heading kind of up here maybe we'll see what we might encounter between north and south kind of around this area uh in, by the way yeah i i've been trying to get my smithing uh up to scratch uh so my smithing's increased like a very tiny amount uh where is it yeah very, very small amount, but it has gone up just a little bit. Um, we've been making iron daggers. It's kind of been a, a bit of a process, you know, cut down wood, make some money, buy iron ingots, use leather strips, make iron dagger, rinse and repeat. So that's what we've been doing. There's my, yep, there's my wood cutting axe. Uh, let me, let me fix that. Aha! All right, let's head on out. Head on out, head on out. Let me just check everything's recording properly. Yep, all the sound is a good. We do need to take out some animals for leather. Take that, red stag. Hmm. Maybe hide we could turn into leather? I don't think I need the food because we're not doing, like, like I guess, hardcore mode. Oh, here's some wolves. Got ourselves a house in the distance. And a windmill. Oh, yeah, I can see the house. I need to make sure that like I'm exploring a bit instead of just going straight for quest lines because I'm gonna end up getting overpowered by enemies so I need to make sure that doesn't happen. Are these good guys or bad guys you think? Imperial oh they're Imperial business. soldiers, yeah they're probably good guys. Oh we're just outside of White Room. I know I could have fast traveled here. Not the point. I will fast travel normally, but... Oh, there's a cave over here. And a bear? Oh ho! Look at this old boy. See ya! wolf pelt. We'll take that as well. Yeah, I want to find this cave. Surely a cave at this point shouldn't be like crazy hard. That like fortress that we went to in yesterday's episode, that was tough. Um, we had to hightail it out of there pretty quickly. Where is this cave? Do you reckon it's like up there? Oh, we got two red dots. Got some baddies. That's Bandit. Bandit Keith. Can always use some money. Yeah, we'll take the note. Why not? I should carry some of that um, armor and stuff. So I can sell it. Because I, I, I desperately need money. But... Tell you what. I can't sit like it so it says that it sells for like 50 gold but when I go to the actual vendor it doesn't sell for like it sells for nothing man it's crap we'll take a few we'll take a few things uh, so we can try and sell it whatever I'm like not taking it because it's not worth like it doesn't sell for 50 so instead of like getting what I can I'm just like not taking anything it's, it feels kind of stupid I mean we do that all the time we just like randomly find the pick Iron ingot, heck yeah. 
I should invest in my, my lock picking. Um, I do want higher lock picking and it's one of the skills that I, I always appreciate and enjoy in um, like Fallout, being able to hack computers and stuff. Oh, this is the cave, okay. Summit. Better not keep him waiting. It's just blank, of course it's blank, he's blind. More fire armor. Hopefully we don't get over capacity. I'm sure they're not all gonna be as peaceful. I love how they've just got like chairs and stuff, like like this is the cave, like it's it's not, you know, I guess it's a home for them, but yeah, they just got chairs on ledges. Oh, what the heck? Good ass as a mage. These guys are annoying to take out. What's our weight? Oh, we still got a heap. And take their fur armor. Stock up on that. Oh, Archer. What kind of book is this? Sorry, I'm always on the lookout for skill books. I should save until I'm a higher level. But who does that? I'll never find them again. Studded armor. And hunting bow. Hmm, our map updated when we read that. I wonder why. More stuff. Sixty, heck yeah. You think it'll work? Of course not. There. Ah! Ah, oh, that jump attack, that was it. Game over, bro. We'll leave their armor. Let's get up here and protect ourselves. We got two guys left, maybe? Just one. Nice. Bam! Cooked catfish, okay. Nothing in there. Let's keep on keeping on. So far, this has been pretty easy. And that's it. Okay. Well, maybe we should head to White Run now. Um, handing out. What the heck are we doing all the way up here? Oh, bad guy! Oh, this guy. Oh my god, did you see how much he hit us for? Oh, damn. Damn, Daniel. I don't know if I can get back up there. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I don't know if I can get back up there. I might, I might have effed up a bit in fear. These games, like, you can't just, like, grab a ledge. Gosh darn it. Maybe if I get higher? Yeah, here's a way, here's a way. Come on. Yep, yep, yep. What you gonna do, brother? We didn't need to knock him off the whole thing. 
How are we doing with weight? Yeah, we're doing alright. Some valuable clothes there. Check the potions. Man, that sword and shield are only worth 50. What's he got on him? I'll take them for myself. Okay. Right. Now, in this case, we will just fast travel. Turn in this mission. Progress the main plot a little bit. Sell our gear. I don't know who we'll sell it to, but we'll figure it out. I forgot this this game's got kind of load screens everywhere. You see? The terminology is Ah! The Dragon Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Seems you are a cut above the usual brutes the Jarl sends my way. You'll have to see the Jarl about that. Maybe his steward, Avenici. I'm sure one of them will pay you appropriately. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. She discovered its location by means she has so far declined to share with me. So your information was correct after all. And we have our friend here to thank for recovering. Not now. Sorry, Bob. Then someone better pay me. A dragon incited the alarm. Oh, dragon. How exciting. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. So, Yurilef tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what you told me about the dragon. Oh, that's right. We saw it coming from the south. It was fast. Faster than anything I've ever seen. What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me, for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. You've earned it. Irelek, you'd better gather some guardsmen and get down there. I've already ordered my men to muster near the main gate. Good. Don't fail me. There's no time to stand on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. As a token of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much like to see this dragon. Shield of fire resistance. No. That's probably going to come in handy. To risk both of you. I need you here working on ways to defend the city against these dragons. As you command. One last thing, Irileth. This isn't a death or glory mission. I need to know what we're dealing with. Don't worry, my lord. I'm the very soul of the court. Let's go, Irileth. Maybe we'll end up uh, fighting a dragon to close out the episode. I've seen you helping the yard. Not heaps keen to do melee against a dragon, but we'll try. I might just need to be on my feet with healing. still would like to sell some of the stuff we picked up, the armors, just so I've got more capacity for dragon bones, which are heavy. Should be able to sell it to someone here. They look like food vendors. 
Maybe you? I ain't Bits done. and bobble. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Hmm, she don't really buy the stuff that I want to sell. I don't think she Trinkets, did. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. No. Someone here take will take it. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. Gosh, damn it. Food? What about you? Hard enough with all the Some might call this junk. Just food, man. No way no one's buying armor here. Fresh food and vegetables every day. Man, straight up no one. Damn, that was crazy. That's vexing. We'll see if we can carry it nonetheless. I do know that it's made the mistake of attacking White Run. But house card, how could we fight a dragon? That's a fair question. None of us have ever seen a dragon before, or expected to face one in battle. But we are honor-bound to fight it, even if we fail. This dragon is threatening our homes, our families. Could you call yourself Nords if you ran from this monster? Are you going to let me face this thing alone? Ulfric, so patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Skyrim since the last age. Killing it is ours! If you're with me! Now what do you say? Shall we go kill us a dragon? Yeah! Damn yeah. right! Let's move up. Yes, we're going. I don't know if I need to wait for them. They kind of move really slowly, but... It actually might help having some backup to help me attack and fight the dragon. It's our first dragon, of course. You know, we don't have any dragon souls, any shouts. We are pretty defenseless. Maybe we could get the giants on board. I don't see it anywhere. That would have been pretty cool if, like, I looked at a certain area and the dragon was there. Slow my roll a bit. These guys are taking the massively out of the way path. Instead of just cutting through the Pelennor fields, we want to walk on a road. I think if I can just like get in, get out, uh, and when I'm out, heal, and then come back in, we should be alright. Can I favorite a an item? I can. Okay. Yeah, when. It's moments like this where I'm about to come up against a dragon that I'm wondering, you know, was a melee build the best decision? You know, these guys could have gone in and been, you know, dragon fire fodder, and I could have sat back shooting arrows or using magic, you know, just like virtually anything else. signs of any dragon right now but it sure looks like he's been I know it looks bad we've got to figure out what happened if that dragon is still skulking around something spread out look for survivors we need to know what we do the western watchtower Still here somewhere. Porky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. Little fires everywhere. I think there's some giants out that way. It's here somewhere. There we go. We have to like really get in in the face of this thing, and we've got to wait for it to land. Get that 
guy's dead. It's my shield, though. <laughs> just middle of the fight, just straight enough. Looting. Looting plunder. Can I hit it from here? Like, I feel like I'm not doing anything. It's one of the things I used to hate about uh, the dragon fights is it would land so far away from me. It'd take me so long to get up close. Like, exactly, like right there. Like, land you idiot. Oh, really? You're just gonna attack me? That seems extremely unfair. We go. At least this helps boost our um, restoration. Oh, we're not doing a lot of damage. But we're slowly chipping away. The magic's coming back so we can heal again soon. You know, it's just little bits here and there, pieces of the puzzle. Is it going down? Might be able to hit it from this distance. Never mind. Probably gone before I can get there. Oh, man, that's a bad way for me to approach a dragon. Yeah, I'll have to use some potions here. Nearly dead. There she goes. Died pretty easily. 15. I don't even have the capacity to hold any of this. Ah, I'm gonna have to drop some stuff. Some of the fur armors, I guess. Thirty more weight, because I want all the dragon stuff. Like, can I even sell these right now? Is this just a waste? I mean, the value is two fifty. Two fifty. It's better than the um, the fur armors that I'm carrying. What's that? Twenty five. Twenty five. Let's get rid of that as well. Over we need to get rid of one more thing. Hmm, two-handed attacks do more damage. Maybe we'll wear these just for, you know, the sake of it. Get rid of one of these. Yeah, that's fine. Now we get to do our thing. From when there were still dragons in Sky. Crap, I'm stuck in third dragon power. Dragonborn person. slay dragons and steal their power. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. We, uh, we, we did what they asked. Let's head back to old mate here. 
Is that not a like teleport for dragons reach? Apparently not. Guess we'll just have to walk the long What's way. Yeah, I think I need like 5k for my house and I have nowhere near that amount. Get the crap out of me. Finally here. The Jarl's been waiting. So what happened at the watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth, but there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn? What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. This is gonna be a long walk for the next episode. The, slopes of the, throat of the, world. the Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thule or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The... You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. Thane. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tybiseptim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as he may be, I don't see any signs of him being this, what, dragonborn. Nord nonsense? Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Krongar, don't be so hard on Avenich. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with him? That's the Greybeards' business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon, it revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I am. Alright guys, that's where we're going to end up today's episode. We slayed the dragon, we explored a dungeon, and we are off to meet the Greybeards. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like, subscribe. Plenty more Skyrim content to come, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye! Regular gaming. Regular gaming.